Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses and some of their very close friends are going to give you a message from your inner drama queen. I know some of you are thinking, but I'm not a drama queen. But let me tell you something. We are all multidimensional beings and whatever exists in the universe also exists inside of us. And in this video, we are going to explore some of the needs and some of the concerns of your inner drama queen. All you're going to do is select a butterfly color that resonates with your spirit. And there will be a message from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses and two other oracle decks. And I also have a message from the Star Alien Beings. For those of you who are new to my channel, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are fabric sculptures that I actually made myself who are sitting behind me. I actually sold these dolls and as I was making them, they couldn't stop talking. They had so many messages which led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. It's actually three books so far. Um, and these books led to the Oracle deck that I'm using. These dolls are magic magical and so is this deck, child. So um, just go ahead, select a butterfly, listen to your message. I really hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth, directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine. Hold the breath to the count of nine and release your breath to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy. When this happens, use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a picker card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. Hello darling, if you selected the red butterfly, this message is, is for you from your inner drama queen. I know, listen, we're all multi-dimensional beings and everything that exists in the universe exists inside of us. And in this message, your inner drama queen wants to relay a message to you. So first, I'm going to go over the cards. I have some additional messages from some of the Jungle Beauty Goddess friends from other decks and an additional message from my star alien being. So the first card I have for you from the Jungle Beauty Goddess is Jungle Beauty Goddess Kala Hari's message to you from your inner drama queen is ooh, talk less, love more. She represents our heart chakra. Seems like your inner drama queen feels like maybe you need to like you know pay attention to your own situation your own emotions your own feelings and love yourself more love what's going on in your life more um yeah this is what that's just card one term the next card i have for you from with a message from your inner drama queen is from journal beauty goddess cyanide 
And her message to you is spontaneity is the cure for everything. She represents our second chakra, which has to do with our ability to create, our ability to feel pleasure and joy, but also shame and guilt. So her, her direct message is one of spontaneity, but it could mean that maybe you should focus on doing something different, you know, as opposed to the normal, you know, getting yourself wrapped up in somebody else's situation or somebody else's business or um, sometimes we love so much that we you know we're always giving our advice we're always trying to help someone but maybe you need to spontaneously just really focus in on yourself so the next card I have for you from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and her message to you from your inner drama queen is let's pull it in how do you feel about it? Your feelings matter. So she, Kyle Hari, who's sitting over here, right here, guys. Kyle Hari is, is represents our heart chakra, which has to do with our, like, loving ourselves and loving society and just, you know, um, forgiving. She says, how do you feel about it? Your feelings matter. Our drama queen is that part of us that's always kind of like, oh, my God. You know just kind of like hyping everything up and everything is like a big emergency and kind of tending to everybody's business just always like you know out there she's singing your feelings really do matter but she wants you to focus inward like when you are like um saying that you know you know, the roof is falling, or out of whatever Chicken Little was saying. Like that part of us is always hyped up. Like, oh, God, I can't believe you believe in successes. She's saying to take a moment and really assess your feelings and to ask yourself questions like, is this my business? Like, do I really need to be this hyped about this? How does this impact me a week from now? Like, how do, how do you feel about it? Your feelings matter. Like, sometimes I think we are so used to accustomed to acting from our emotions that we don't even sometimes stop and think you know what I don't even care about this I truly don't even like I don't even care about this why am I hyped so she wants you to really take a moment and think about your own feelings and that ties back to the first card which is talk less and love more talk less about what's going on around you and just really ask love yourself more the next card I have for you from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, we have uh, Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara coming in with a message for you from your inner drama queen. And that message is, your, ask your body what it needs to feel healthy. Again, wow. Your inner drama queen is like saying, we need to focus on our own business, y'all. We need to focus, like, are we this hyped? Like, what is it that, even though we're being a drama queen and we're just like really hyped up, but is this really good for our blood pressure? For maybe we need to meditate. Is this healthy for our body? Do we really need to take every situation all the way up from one to a hundred? You know what I mean? You know how it is. We all have moments where we just automatically from one to a hundred. But she's saying, is this like ask your body what it needs to be healthy? Do we really need to? tap in on every political debate or every political conversation or every time something happens do we in the news do our is that really in our high, for our highest good and our best interest for our body for our health for our mind the next card i have for you from the jungle beauty goddess sinai from your inner drama queen and her message to you is she says spontaneity is secure for everything. I think I said this already. I'm not sure. Um, ask your body what it needs. Spontaneity for, is a cure for everything. It's really just she represents our second chakra, our ability to feel pleasure. I think she's saying that sometimes we should, like especially if you look at all the cards together, talk less and love more. Maybe sometimes we should look at the moment because she's all about living uh jungle beauty goddess Sinai, who's right behind me over here she is all about living in the moment and taking pleasure in the moment and living your life to the fullest so she's so the overall message to me from this hand is saying to me that you should focus on what is in your highest and best interest what is really like 
what is helping you move forward? Are the things that you're complaining about, about are they really like are getting hyped about? Are they just really distractions? Is this taken away from your personal power? Are you really able to be all that you are meant to be in terms of your happiness, your joy, um, progressing towards your goals by allowing yourself to get really, you know, like gossiping or getting all hyped up or worrying about things that you can't control? So I think your inner drama queen kind of want to break. She said, like, she says, ask your body what it needs to uh, feel healthy she says talk less and love more talk less and love me more let's not get hyped up let's think about me let's be spontaneous and and do something pleasurable because John the Beauty Guide is saying it's all about the pleasure child all about feeling good and being creative let's make something let's enjoy our life and she says how do you feel about it your feelings matter meaning that sometimes people like I'll find myself in some big conversation political conversation and then I'll just take a moment and say wait a minute do I really want to speak out about this do I really is this an image that I want to project about myself do I really need to put my two cent in or my hat in the ring on every single issue like sometimes you're just so used to being a drama queen when I say drama queen I just mean this person who's just you know, we all have that part of us. I'm not going to lie. I have that part of me. Just a drama queen. Always in the mix. Like, oh, I can't believe that happened. Sometimes we worry so much about other people's business and things that really don't pertain to us. Things that we have no control over. That when we really look at how we feel and look at our own life, our own life is twirling out of control. Because we are not really centered in on what is best for us as individuals. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the grayish blue butterfly for the message from your inner drama queen, child, this message is for you. So first I'm going to go over the Jungle Beauty Goddess cards and then I have some additional messages from you from some of their friends from my other oracle decks and also a message from the star alien being. So the first card I have for you from your inner drama queen is from Jungle Beauty. Oops, let me turn it right y'all. From Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai and her message to you is Let's see what Jungle Beauty got to sign out. I want you to know from your inner trauma queen. Why are you waiting? It seems to me like, I don't know what the other cards are saying, but it seems like if we were first we're pulling in the second chakra, which has to do with our emotions, our pleasure, ability to enjoy life. And I think maybe she's saying like, you know, we can't, why are you waiting to enjoy life? Why you are getting, or maybe like, why are you waiting? It's usually like there's something else more important that you need to be focused on, but you're putting it off because you're paying attention to things that are of really that have no value in your life, you know, or you're overly sensitive or overly hyped up about things that really aren't that important to you and it's not going to help you move forward. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, and she has a message to you from your inner drama queen, and it is. The answer is in the questions. The um, Jenna Beauty Goddess Sahara, her, um, she's connected to our throat chakra. She's back here, right here. And it has to do with our ability to speak the truth, to communicate with others, to be aware of our own feelings and to articulate those feelings. And the answers in the questions mean this. We're not asking like questions like should I go to Mars or should I go to Venus like you're really you're probably not asking that question you may be asking a question like should I start a YouTube channel well you didn't say should I write a book or the, the thing is this if you're asking should I write a YouTube channel should I, I'm sorry should I start a YouTube channel your next question should be um, why do I want to start a channel and then you say oh, okay 
then it's like, well, how often can I upload? Or what topics would I like to cover? Maybe in the beginning, I just want to do my thing. If you're asking questions like, should I go back to school? The qu- your next question is not, you know, then you should say, well, I want a better opportunity to earn more money. I don't care for my current job or I want to develop a trade. So the answers in the questions means that whatever questions you're asking yourself, ask yourself why those questions are important. If you're asking yourself things like, you know, where's this relationship headed? Why is it because your your clock is ticking or you're looking for something a little bit more stable with more of a commitment. Anytime you're asking yourself a question, it's, it's always an answer within the question. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So basically, um, your inner drama queen is saying that you really need to focus on, you know, why am I hyped about this? Like, if you're hyped about A, B, C, D, or E, you should really focus on, like, asking yourself, if I am this upset, if I am this emotional about this issue, it is because maybe I feel like my feelings are being ignored. Maybe I feel like um, I should do something about this. Maybe I feel like I need more. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So your inner drama queen is saying you need to ask yourself why you're getting hyped up or why you're creating you know, these drama type situations about these whatever is happening in your life because maybe you should explore it more because they may be important and there may be things that really need your attention. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara who has a message for you from your inner drama queen. Ooh, it says create your place in the world by doing what brings you joy. Create your place in the world by doing what brings you joy, child. So if you're asking yourself questions like why am I so upset about what's happening in in the political arena now unless you're running for office maybe you know all you maybe for most of us all you can do is vote or maybe you can volunteer your time but if volunteering your time brings you joy that's something you need to do but I think your inner drama queen is saying look let's not get hyped up about things that's not going to move our life forward we should ask ourselves what's important to us and then ask ourselves what can we do to move our lives forward. That's where we should focus our energy. The next card I have for you from your inner drama queen is, again, you're pulling in some strong root chakra energy, which has to do with our purpose, our mission on the planet, child. Why we hear our relationship with our community, with our ancestors. It's about being rooted and grounded, right, into, our, into who we are and what we want. It says, discover what you do better than most. This is your path to prosperity. So you're in a drama queen is saying, look, child, we need to like stop creating or feeling overly emotional, um, paying attention to other to things that's really not going to help us, um, you know, discover our path to prosperity to be all that we create your place in the world by doing what brings you joy like don't pay if something is not bringing you pleasure or bringing you joy then why are you like hyped about it why are you talking about it why are you you know getting yourself all you know in a bunched up and all emotionally up stressed out and you know what i'm saying so so this is what your your, your inner drama queen is saying look Let's stop waiting. Why are, we, why are we waiting, child? She said, why are we waiting to enjoy our lives? So I'm be the guy Sinai represents our pleasure and our joy, you know, our ability to be creative. Oh, she said, let's, let's kind of zero in, look at our emotions and just like, well, I don't think this issue is really that important to us or, you know what I mean? So your cars are saying for you to get rooted, grounded plant seeds of what it is you really want pay attention to what it is you really want look at the questions that you're asking look at what you're getting hyped about and see why that is important if you're getting hyped about you know the politics in america then maybe you should run for office or maybe you should volunteer your time whatever you're hyped about ask yourself why because it may lead you to what's really important i really hope this reading helps someone Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next.
video. Hello darling. If you selected the pink butterfly for the message from your inner drama queen, this message is for you. First I'm going to go over the Jungle Beauty Goddess cards and then we brought in some additional messages from my ancestor deck and my magic flower deck and also look I'll, you will receive a message from my from the alien star being. So the first card I have for you from your inner drama queen is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you from your inner drama queen is read as much as you can before asking questions. Ooh. Now what I'm picking up from this is that you may be the kind of person who blows things out of proportions a little bit and you you know because sometimes a, a drama queen is a person who just like hypes every situation and you know like make everything into a big deal and you know always want people to like share every little detail of your life so she's saying um you know before you communicate your share the intimate details about your life or look it up first look it up and see what you can find on your own because everything doesn't need to be shared with other people um so that's what this card is saying read as much as you can before asking questions before spreading gossip before talking to other people read as much as you can about your life and what's going on with you i'm not saying you're doing that but like i said everything exists in everyone because we're all you know everything we're all multidimensional beings, and if it exists in the world, it exists inside of us. The only difference is the proportions. So your inner drama queen is saying, you know, let's just, you know, channel some of our energy in, keep some of our secrets to ourselves about ourselves. Let's do our own research. We don't need to always tell our business or ask other people for answers about our particular, about our life. You know. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message from you, from your inner drama queen, is, oh, money will rush towards you when you find your true self. Child, she is saying that when you really stop looking outside of yourself and making everything a big deal, and just really focus on who you are, you, your life is going to expand abundantly. And I think, you know, money is not just always a gauge of happiness. What what they're saying is that is sometimes we just, because, wait, Katara represents our root chakra. Our root chakra represents our money, child. It represents being grounded, rooted, our ancestors, our relationship with our community, um, our mission, our purpose on the planet. So this car in, in your... From your message from your inner drama queen, money will rush towards you when you find your true self. She's saying like, stop responding to everything in such a dramatic and overly emotional manner so that you can figure out who you are, why you here, and let your prosperity and abundance rush towards you. Does that make sense? The next card, oh my god, I can't believe it. You have another card from Jungle Beauty Guys, Katara, which means you're pulling in some strong energy from your inner drama queen asking you to please, please, please ground yourself. Please ground yourself. Please root yourself, you know, um, in terms of like figuring out who you are, what you want, looking within yourself, not getting hyped up, not paying attention to what's going on with other people. Um, the next card I have for you. From, it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara from your inner drama queen and her message to you darling is know that you are beautiful just the way you are oh this is so amazing your inner drama queen says that sometimes you look outside of yourself and because you want to be the center of attention because you really you doubt your own beauty, you doubt your own worth, you doubt, you know, that people really like you. So sometimes you you feel like you have to kind of like, you know, put yourself down so that people will like you. Or maybe you feel like people just don't love you for who you are. But she is telling you, your inner drama queen is saying, look, y'all, 
Know that you are beautiful just the way you are. You don't need to change for anybody. Just love yourself. And just know, and when you love yourself, you find your gifts and your talents. You become grounded and you expand your lives, your life in a way to create abundance. The next card I have for you from your inner drama queen is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, who represents your heart chakra. And her message to you is, let's see, never apologize for loving with all your heart. So what, oh, this is what I'm picking up. You are a very compassionate person, right? You're that person who noticed that when the neighbor goes out of town and something goes wrong with their house, or when something happens, you're the first person to complain. But the reason you're a drama queen is because you really just love people. You love people, you're concerned about the world, you're concerned about your neighbors, you're concerned about your friends, you're concerned about your family. You are, you know, you're a drama queen because you love deeply and you care. But your drama, inner drama queen is saying, don't be ashamed of that. But we do want to channel some of that energy back so you can focus on what you need to do to enjoy the life that you deserve. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh, hello darling, if you selected the aqua blue butterfly for the message from your inner drama queen, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards, and then I'm going to the Jungle Beauty Goddess cards, and they brought along some of their friends, and I have some messages from some additional cards for you, and I'm going to give you a message from the star alien being of the spread. So first, let's go for the cards, the Jungle Beauty Goddess cards. So the first card I have for you with a message from your inner drama queen is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And her message to you from your inner drama queen is your relationship with money is rooted in your childhood. So basically when I see this card, this is letting me know that something, usually when we have problems, it's like there's problems with trusting adults or um, in terms of like um, our survival. Basically our root chakra has to do with our relationship with our family. Uh, with our ancestors, with our community, with being grounded. So there are some childhood issues that are still affecting you somehow and which has contributed to you being what is called so-called the, the, the your inner drama queen so to speak. Like she is, you know, she has developed from your childhood issues and um, it seems like those issues were tied around survival and trust with the adults and other people, um, family members. The next card I have for you is from a Jungle Beauty, well, from the, the father of the Jungle Beauty Goddess is the matter. And he represents energy and his message to you is anything is possible. So this is telling me that what your inner drama queen may feel stuck that she's in a rut you know that she's been in this cycle for a very long time and she's been frustrated but the energy needs to be broken like the energy of this mentality of this struggle of the stress of the negativity it's I don't know I'm just picking up it needs to be broken because when we say anything is possible it leads me to believe that this cycle has been going on this stressful cycle of negativity and of being overly sensitive and emotional has been going on for a while. <clears throat> the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sayonara from your inner drama queen. And her message to you is be spontaneous. So this has to do with our second chakra and our ability to feel joy and happiness and pleasure and to be creative. So basically yes I feel so far yes something happened in terms of being rooted and grounded in your childhood 
um, feeling safe, feeling like you can trust people has caused you to kind of, um, I don't want to say the word act out or, or people may say you're overly sensitive or you're, you know, you're being, you know, super dramatic about something that's insignificant to them. But because of your early developmental years, this is your way of surviving in the world and having your needs met. But I think your inner drama queen is exhausted and she wants to, she wants to change, but she really doesn't know how to change. That's what I'm getting. At. That's what I'm thinking. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. And Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire's message to you from your inner drama queen. Oh my God, it's the original. So what I'm picking up, and this has to do with your third eye, um, our ability our, to see our inner our inner eye, to, to look within ourselves, our imagination, um, our wisdom, uh, you know, to come up with ideas that, that are unique, uniquely, that uniquely belong to us, where everything is kind of under, exists under the sun, but it's that inner vision as opposed to the outer vision. And when she says be original, I get the impression that you have spent your life trying to fit in, trying to, to do as you're told, trying to please everybody. And it has really stressed you out to try to you know to be a person that um to be the person that everybody else want you to be but your inner drama queen is saying that she is just really tired that she really wants she wants to she's tired of trying to to be what everybody else thinks she should be she wants to be her own voice her own self and she wants to live a life that's spontaneous. She really, she wants to break this energy pattern of what has been going on since childhood. She's like, look, look, I'm exhausted. You're in a drama queen, in my opinion, child. She is exhausted. She's like, I'm, I'm tired of, you know, I'm just tired of everybody telling me who to be and how to be and how I should act and she's she's ready to explode i don't know and it's saying that anything is possible and i think the cards are saying your inner drama queen is saying we need to find another way to exist in the world we need to release some of our childhood issues we need to yeah i'm looking let's be original let's be ourselves let's stop caring what people think that's what i'm picking up from the jungle beauty goddess cards and i really hope this reading helps someone Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.